Hello everyone, this is Furkan. In this tutorial, we are going to create something like this. So let's dive into the After Effects. I would take a moment to ask you all to subscribe my channel if you are an After Effects designer because I upload many free content and tutorials so and a lot of fun stuff is coming up so don't forget to subscribe moving on create a new composition 1920 by 1080 name it one underscore main select the color as black create a new composition again 1920 by 1080 this time rename it to two underscore bg which is short for background. Open the background composition, drag your image inside the composition and apply the effect brightness and contrast. You can look for this image in the description, the download link is given. In the settings of brightness and contrast, set brightness is equal to minus 150 and set contrast to 100. Now let's go back to the main composition. Drag your background composition into the main composition and let's animate it because right now it is a bit static. Uh, press S so that the scale can appear and set it from 240 at 0 second to 150% at 10 second. Now press R to set the rotation keyframes. Um, set it to 0 at 0 second and to 20 um, at 10 second. So your animation can look like this. Now we want to reduce the opacity. Um, it is a bit too bright so let's reduce it to 50%. Press T for opacity and reduce it to 50%. Create a new composition and rename it to three underscore content. You can see that I use a prefix like one, two, and three. This helps me to organize my um, compositions in the project window. So after renaming it, um, select 1920 by 1080 and press OK. Go inside the content composition and create a new composition called logo. I'm going to rename it for underscore logo and it will be a square logo so I'm going to select 1080 by 1080 pixels. You, are not, uh, you might ask that um, why I'm creating so many compositions. Well, uh, you'll know the answer by the end of this video so stick around. Inside the logo composition, place your logo and go back to your content composition. Inside the content composition, create a new text layer and type in your website name. Select the font size and spacing according to your requirement and that's it. Now we will create a new shape that will be covering the entire your entire website text and Place your website layer above the shape layer From the shape layer select the track mat as alpha inverted mat and press click anywhere and you will see the that uh, the transparency is now being shown where the text used to be Now go back to the main composition drag the content composition inside the main composition and we will start animating this content let's start with the scaling go all the way back to zero second and hit the stopwatch icon so that we can select the keyframe drag the scale to around 45 percent now go to 10 seconds and 
um, scale it to 100%. Now we will add an effect called CC Light Sweep. Drag the effect onto the layer and on the zero second press the stopwatch icon and we're going to animate the center um, center property of this light sweep. Select the coordinates as minus 120 comma 414 or you know something like that and around fifth second roughly fifth second not to be precise nothing is precise here um, do it uh, 1766 and comma 6 this particular effect will give the effect of light being swept so this is step one now the step two is duplicating this exact effect cc light sweep 2 and we are going to animate the sweep intensity so on the fifth second which is again roughly um, bring the sweep intensity to zero and around seven seconds bring the sweep intensity to 81 percent and the width should be 440 ish something like that around 450 this will increase the visibility of the logo uh, it will give an effect of the logo being shown from the darkness towards light decent enough now just to add another bit of um, professional touch what we can do is we can give it um, a texture so create a new composition name it 5 underscore texture 1920 by 1080 press ok drag the texture image in the texture composition and drag the composition inside the main composition first of all parent it to the content why because um, because the content is being scaled content composition is being scaled so we need the texture to be scaled with respect to that now put your texture layer above the content layer and from content track mat select um, luma mat and there you go and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial many more coming don't forget to subscribe thank you very much see you in next tutorial